Hi everybody, it's Natasha. Welcome to my channel. So this is my first YouTube video ever, so I'm a bit nervous. We'll see how we go. Um, I've just graduated as a makeup artist. I went through the Ellie McD makeup school here in Christchurch. Um, highly recommend going there. Eliana is such an amazing person. She's a lovely tutor. She's great at what she does. Um, so I will leave a link to her website in the description bar below. Sorry I look really weird right now. I've just done my brows off camera and I've set my eyes. So today I'll be doing makeup tutorial. I'll be doing like a burnt orangey look. Kind of like if you see like a barn. You know those old orangey barns. So I'll be doing that. Um, I've primed my eyelids. I use the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C1. The paler shade because I was paler as paper. I'm just going to tie my hair up real quick. So I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I love this palette. You can tell by how damaged it is. I'm going to go in with Creamsicle. That is one of my favourite colours. It's a really nice like dark yellow. So I'm just going to take a... It's an LA Girl. I don't know what it is. It's scratched off. Here's a number. I think it's 204 or something like that. I'm just going to go in with that. Load Creamsicle up. Tap off the excess. And so if I'm looking down, I'm just looking at my mirror I've got here. I'm just going to take that and start kind of in the outer crease and just lightly blend that in just to and fro if you make a mistake you know you can just rub it off start again I make so many mistakes though so everybody does you know it's totally fine okay now that it's kind of on I'm gonna take it's a Mika brush it just says blending it's like a fat fluffy one like that and I'm just gonna buff out any harsh lines right so I'm gonna go in with I don't know the name but it's the fourth from cream circle or the third from cream circle and I'm just gonna take this fat little little friend it's an elf brush I had to take it back to bed it's terrible it was like five dollars and I can't find a new one so I'm just going to load the product up there and then just kind of stamp it on the outer corner on your lid you can totally take this color up kind of like on top of that one but I kind of want you know that sunset vibe take it more if you need to okay now that I've done that I'm going to take the makeup revolution palette I don't know what one it's called but it's that one and I'm gonna go in with that little wrong side that one there the orangey one. It's such a lovely colour. Tap off the excess. And then just pat that over top. You can do your eyes first or second life view. You can do your foundation first. Just me because like, I'm a messy makeup artist. I always have like a lot of fallout. And I like to clean up like the outer corner of my eye. With a wet wipe. Um, so just do whatever you're comfortable with really. Uh, carving out a little bit of a crease there nothing too difficult I'm just going to take a round smudge brush this is from Artiste they're pretty good these were like the only brushes I think around when I first kind of started makeup when I was like 13, 14 because I lived in Nelson so there wasn't a lot of um, like makeup shops like there are in Christchurch kind of do that like in a V shape Maybe and just in the that bit of your crease there. I will come back and blend that out, don't worry. Okay. I'm just gonna take this one, the it's a Revlon crease shadow and just blend that out. Quite like it like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with that um LA Girl first brush and I'm gonna go in with the same the first colour we did and just lighten that up a little bit. Nice circular motions. Take a bit more. That is looking pretty good. I'm just going to take the big Mika one and just really lightly blend that out. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. And I'm going to take some mascara. I use the Revlon Ultimate All in One mascara. 
falsies on if you want to. I'm not a huge fan of um, lashes. They just like irritate me. I'm not the best with mascara. But um, you know, I try. If you get mascara like on your lid like I do so much, just wait for it to dry so it becomes crusty. Then get like a cotton bud and just flake it off. And then if you need to, just go with that same eyeshadow colour and just pat it in. And you'll be good to go. Do we have any other little bit? So I'm just going to take a cotton bud and just flake that off. That's fine. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a makeup wipe. I get these from Posty Plus. They look like that. They're only two dollars and you get like 30. They're super cheap. And they're really nice as well. They're not like drying and they, they have a bit of an alcoholic smell but not too bad. So I just try and clean it up. Even if I don't get like full out my eyes get really dry so I think it's quite nice just to Get a bit of freshness and then just take a tissue and wipe off the excess. Then I'm going to go in with primer. I use the Revlon Photo Ready Brightening Primer. It's pretty good. I, do love, this I love the um, Too Faced Hangover Primer. Oh, that one was the best. Or the Hourglass. I'm not sure what one it was called. It was like in a little glass bottle and it was like white. That was pretty good as well. This one primer is really expensive and you don't need a primer. Like, I'm just kind of doing it for the sake of the video, but I generally don't wear primer. If I'm wearing, like, a, a lot, like a heavy makeup look, which I generally do, um, oops, forgot I had my brows on, um, yeah, so if I've got a heavy look, then I will, if I'm only wearing a little bit of foundation, then I generally don't. Um, the foundation I use, which is the Revlon Colorstay Normal Dry in 110 Palace Paper. If I'm using this, I generally don't need to. I generally put quite a bit on. I take the Beauty Sponge. It's from Chi Chi. Like $9. It's really good. And I've always used it. It gets the job done. Make sure you are even. You don't want one side to be like more full coverage than the other. Get under your eyes. Don't worry too much about getting under your eyes, I suppose, because um, we're going to conceal next, my favourite part. I like to conceal away those under eyes. No matter how much like I sleep, I have really bad under eyes. My nose is a pain, so... Okie dokie, that's all done. And then I'm just going to go in with that same concealer, the Revolution one, and see one if I can open it. You don't get a lot of product. Um, I've had this for like a week and a half and I'm really like scraping it so that's what that weird noise is. Look like an Indian tribe member. Just take that same beauty blender. Beauty sponge, whatever you want to call it. I call it beauty blender even though it's not. I don't mind. Um, so then I'm going to take a translucent powder. Use the e.l.f. one in Fair Light. And just set my face. This is, if you're wondering, this is the Artiste Fat Fluffy Brush. It costs about $50. That's a lot for a brush. But I saved up and it's okay. I'm just going to fix up that eye. I have a bit of it up see over here. It's okay. Got up see the other eye now. They have that when one eye is looking great and then the other eye is like really bad. And you've kind of got to replicate to the bad one because you can't fix it. That's fine. We'll go in with that. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to contour, bronze contour. I'm going to take the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Solo in Light Medium. You can tell how much I love it. It smells, oh, it smells like chocolate. And I'm going to take the, another Artiste brush. It's like a blusher. Brush. That's okay. Load the product up. Tap it. And then I just suck in my cheeks. You don't have to, but I've just like got like a one dimension face. Start from the tip of your ear and then just find a good trick is to take your fingers and just find out where the 
the hollow of your cheek runs in is and that's where you contour like slightly under it and that's pretty good you don't want that big poo stripe so just try and avoid too much looking pretty good if you do get like if you eat too much a good trick uh, I learned this from Jaclyn Hill is take your translucent powder and like a big fluffy brush and just pat that um, the powder on top hopefully that will work I'm going to because I'm very pale today uh, pale most days I'm going to take the same brush with the um, bronzer on it and just slightly a good trick for um, like contouring this off the forehead it's like the three finger rule if your forehead or the four finger rule I don't know if your forehead is more than like three fingers like mine is mine's like five then you could contour it but if not you don't need to contour it I will do a video on like I know it's like a post smudge but don't worry we'll fix it um I will do a video on like contouring um because not everybody is gonna have the same face shape so they're not gonna you're not gonna contour everybody the same way you know everybody has different face shapes and you contour to that face shape you know not everybody's gonna need their forehead um sculpted or their jaw. I probably do need my jaw, but I just hate contouring my jawline. So I'll do a video on that and maybe like foundation matching or something like that. I really want to do like really good in depth videos, not just tutorials on how to get this look. I will do a lot of those, but give you guys really good tips and tricks um, that I learned through the makeup school and a lot that I've just you know done on my own I'm just going to take some highlighter I use the Chi 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 Iridescent Glow I love this palette you'll see me using it a lot I'm going to go in with Rose Quartz and Opal and I call this my fan brush it's not a fan brush I got it from the $2 shop it was like $2 obviously um I have used a proper fan brush before but I just prefer this because it is thicker um and it just puts the product on, like puts more product on, which I like. But you just stick to what you what you like, obviously. I love highlight. I love looking like a disco ball. Who doesn't want to look, look like a disco ball? I mean, come on. Do me now, so I look like Rudolph, pale Rudolph, and my chin, and my forehead. Oh, disco ball. Okay, now I will go in with, do the rest of my eyes. I'm going in with the Revlon Eyeliner Fat Little Friend there, Skinny Little Friend. Um, and I'm going to take, have a look what name it. I'll link the names down below to the eyeshadows. It's that same dark one we used to cut out the, do the crease. Tap off the excess and put that along your waterline. Looking pretty good. We have a bit of a mascara situation, so I'm going to get my Combud. And just it's better to wait for it to dry because then um it's crusty and it should come off like that okay now we will do the lips i'm going to take the revlon matte balm i call it my chubby stick because it's a chubby stick and two five five enchanting ravis night i don't know terrible reading if you do have funny lips, well not funny lips, but bun even lips, like I do just take cotton bud and then, you can take your finger as well, but I just got a cotton bud. Okay, that's done. I don't think. Then I'm just going to take the Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go and just spray that all over my lovely face. Or douse. I love um, just wearing this like on a really hot day. It's super lovely. Um, I think we are done. So that is today's makeup look. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Hopefully, you know, there will be more videos to come. I will do a lot um, of videos on how I do things with a little arm. I um, did a little arm. Um, so I was just born like that. Although I say I had like a shark attack or like octopus attack. Don't know how you could be attacked by an octopus, but you know. Um, but yeah, so I will do videos. I've just filmed one on how to do my hair. Um, I'll do how to tie my shoelaces. Um, I don't know, how to peel a potato. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.